Good morning, my dear children. Hope you all are doing well at home. Today, I am going to teach you signs of class three. The name of the chapter is animals and plants. So let's start. We can find many things. around us the earth is made up of several things some of them are living and others are non living and today we are going to discuss about living things now can you give me some examples of living things Yes, I think you are absolutely correct. Some examples of living things are plants, animals, insects, birds, etc. Now, can you give me some examples of non-living things? Yes. I think here also you are correct. books bottles containers these all are non living things living things exist and are alive every living thing in this earth react in a different way all living things can breathe eat grow move reproduce and have senses but non living things don't have this kind of characteristics so we are now going to know about the different characteristics of plants first let us know what is a plant a plant is a living thing that grows in the earth and has a stem leaves and roots if we look around we can see different types of plants some of them are big some are small they are also known as trees shrubs herbs creepers and climbers plant is a very important living thing in this earth plants produce oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide plants also give us food it also provides shelter to us we can't live without plants now we are going to discuss some special characteristics of plants The first characteristics is nutrition. Plant is a living thing but it so it grows. To grow it requires energy. Food gives us energy. Plant can make their own food with the help of air, water, sunlight. and a green pigment named chlorophyll this process is known as photosynthesis chlorophyll is present mainly in the leaves have you seen your mother cooking food in the kitchen and in the plant leaves cook food for the plant that's why leaves are also known as the kitchen of the plants there is always some exception some non green plants like mushrooms can't prepare their own food mushrooms are a type of fungus they can't prepare their own food because they don't have chlorophyll 
they obtain it from dead and decaying or rotting substances now another characteristics of living beings is uh, breathing we all need to breathe to be alive plants also breathe they give out carbon dioxide and absorb oxygen from the air that surrounds them it breathes through a small opening called stomata which is present on the surface of the leaves so for breathing stomata is a very important part of a plant now as science is a very interesting subject let us do an experiment this experiment is very interesting and you can do it at home step 1 fill a large bowl with lukewarm water you can take any glass bowl then just take a large leaf place the leaf in the bowl of water and put a small rock on top of it so it is fully submerged under the water then put the bowl in a sunny spot now wait for 3 to 4 hours few hours later you will see small bubbles around the leaf and the edges of the bowl now children do you know swimming what is going to happen if you go under water by holding your breath after that if you breathe out you will notice bubbles in the water the leaf here is using the sunlight as part of the photosynthesis process and the leaf is releasing extra oxygen while submerged the oxygen can be seen as bubbles in the water now we are moving on to another characteristics that is reproduction as a characteristics of a living being plants also reproduce now let us know what is reproduction reproduction is to create or recreate something usually a new living thing such as a baby why reproduction is important reproduction is important for the survival of living beings without that life would come to an end now let us discuss how a plant reproduce have you ever seen beautiful flowers in the trees flowers help the plant to reproduce from flowers we get fruits seeds are found within the fruits for examples if you have watermelon at your home you can cut it and you can find many seeds inside this or else if you have apple you can find out few seeds or if you have mango you can see one seed so these are one seeded few seeded and many seeded fruits example most plants produce seeds when shown these seeds it grows into a new plant and this process is known as germination now again it is a time for an interesting activity what you need you can take any kind of seed might be it can be a coriander seed a gram seed a bean seed or a pea seed you take a glass or a clear plastic pot you also need some cotton or soil fill the glass with soil or cotton now add a little water to it then 
place your seeds at the edge of the pot or a glass so that you can see on good view of them as they began to grow when the seeds first starts to grow we can observe the growth of stem and root then comes the leaf this way after few days you can see a baby plant i hope you will do these activities at home and you will also find these activities very interesting but some plants grow from a part of the plant like stem or root for example hibiscus and rose grow from the stem they don't have any fruits sweet potatoes grow from the roots gingers grow from the root of the plant now moving on to the next characteristics which is movement plants are fixed in soil and can't move from one place to another but still plants so sh show some movement for example roots grow and moves towards water stem grows towards sunlight again activity time we will keep a pot of a plant in a open place where it is exposed to sunlight now you will observe that the stem of the plant grows straight up you can keep it for 2 to 3 days over there now this same pot we need to keep it in a room near a window with sunlight coming only from one side after a few days we will observe that stem of a plant moving towards light so this way plants shows movement plants show movement okay next characteristics sense organ sense organs we need to know first what is a sense organ a part of your body that you use to see hear smell taste or feel things are known as sense organs plants don't have sense organs but they respond to their surroundings for example if you touch the leaves of touch me not plant you will observe that the leaves folds that means plants have sense and it responds also now as we have come to an end of the chapter of this part of a chap this chapter we are going to recall the important points they are the earth is made up of living and non living things example of living things are plants animals birds insects etc all living things can grow eat breathe move reproduce and have senses a plant is a living thing that grows in the earth and has stem leaves and roots plants produce oxygen and absorb carbon dioxide plants can make their own food plants can make their food 
with the help of air water sunlight and chlorophyll chlorophyll is a green pigment present mostly in the leaves food making process is known as photosynthesis leaves are known as the kitchen of the plants now green plant like mushroom can't create their own food plant breathe through stomata plants can reproduce we get fruits from flowers and seeds from fruits new plants grows from the seed this is known as germination some plants grow from a part of a plant plants can't move from one place to another but still it shows some movement it don't have any sense organs still it responds to the surroundings now memorize and learn these spellings movement m o v e m e n t ground g r o u n d prepare p r e p a r e because b e c a u s e absorb a b s o r b search s e a r c h ability a b i l i t y stomata s t o m a t a surface s u r f a c e breathe b r e a t h e reproduction r e p r o d u c t i o n produce p r o d u c e respond r e s p o n d surroundings s u r r o u n d i n g s that's all for today my dear children thank you